off to Canada. We're going to Canada! Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Kat and my partner's name is Dean. And in today's vlog, we are flying from Dublin to Calgary to start our 10 day adventure in the Canadian Rocky Mountains. past two times I've been here, I've always got the same sandwich. But so sandwich is the no, but I usually get a sandwich, but I can't, I can't find it. I'm devastated. Oh dear. Not a good start. So yeah, Air, uh, Dublin Airport is very busy today. I've only just managed to find a seat. So I am going to go and have a little look for some food. Maybe avoid that wrap of Dean's. <laughs> um, and have a little nosy at the duty free. Yeah, it's very busy. basically just walking through here tempting myself to spend money that I don't need to spend so I think because I'm quite short on time I'm gonna give it a miss route into it all because they're gonna be calling us through to gate at the minute it's just no point Should be arriving in Calgary on schedule uh, just after 
down in clear sky, 11 degrees for our arrival. There's some items in the temperature, uh, 22 degrees. We should have a smooth flight. Also be used as routes. Toutes les lignes CRV d'évacuation peuvent aussi servir de radeau. Please note that exit signs on this aircraft utilize this green symbol to identify the exit.
Now if you watch Short California series, you'll know that Dean has a little trick where when he books flights, which he did this time, he books the aisle seat and the window seat and leaves this one free. So anyone can book it, but he finds that people will avoid booking it at all costs. It's a little travel hack that we picked up from two travel YouTubers that we watch and it seems to have worked again. It's a pretty full flight and no one wanted to book this seat. They were perfectly fine too, it doesn't prevent anyone from booking it. It's just that strangers would rather not sit between two other strangers so they'll book any other seat that they can. Um, and if there's any spare seats on the plane it's likely that this will end up being one of them. So flying with Economy West Jet. It's been pretty nice, hasn't it? Dreamliner, similar to what we flew on with Virgin to California, isn't it? You prefer it. Yeah. Yeah. Same amount of sort of legroom obviously helps a lot having having no one there. And this has been the snack chair, as Dean names it, the snack chair. Who been watching?
about 15. They have given us a free upgrade from a compactor SUV to a full SUV and it is a nice Jeep. How do we go from a Chevrolet Spark to a, uh, a Jeep SUV? <laughs> so just doing what Night Rider always says to do is check the car for any damage. We have got full insurance though so anything happens we can just hand them the keys and walk away from it. We don't owe them anything. Obviously paid extra for that but I just want the peace of mind. This is a snazzy car compared to my stay at Ibiza back in the UK. So I'm just remembering how much of a pleasure it is to drive in Calgary. I remember it being really easy and I was thinking, was it that easy? It is. The roads are really nice. Lovely roads, nice and easy signposts. Yeah, really enjoying it. And this car is a definite upgrade on the one I drive at home, let me tell you. This is currently the time to our bodies. And that's AM, not PM. It's currently the time to 6 p.m. in Canada, but it's 1 a.m. to our bodies, so very tired. Well, guys, our first sight of the Rockies. I did spot them on the plane coming into land, um, but our first sight of the Rockies, they're just like a very hazy silhouette at the minute, but they don't look real. They're so huge. Even if they, they don't look real, do they, Dean? Like to think that we're driving into them now. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man. By. Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, something new, somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky In the dark, against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Well, we have arrived after about an hour and 15 minute drive from Calgary Airport. Not going to complain about that drive though. It was stunning. Really easy roads to navigate, just a nice drive and the scenery. 
just reminded me why I fell in love with this country from the second I stepped into it. So I'll give you a quick little tour. As you can see here in the background, my favourite feature is the fire. <laughs> so nice big bed, bedside tables with USB chargers and everything, bedside lights, very cosy. Yep, USB chargers and outlets there. A beautiful fire. I think it's just a gas fire, it's not a log fire, but it gives the log fire effect and it's giving off some nice heat. It's not even that cold, it's 17 degrees, but we wanted the cosy vibes. Um, a nice big TV. Gorgeous picture of the Northern Lights over one of the many lakes around here. Not sure which one. Oh, a wild Dean appeared. A zombie. <laughs> Come three. on, is the excitement not overriding it? No, it's like 3 a.m., isn't it? To our bodies, so I'm like, we have got a microwave and a coffee machine and a fridge. Now, we planned to go and buy milk, keep it in the fridge. We've brought our own tea bags because we struggled last time we were in Canada to find English tea, but we don't have a kettle, just the coffee machine. So we might have to have a play and see if this can just give us hot water to brew our tea. Otherwise, we might be scuppered with the with the hot drinks, Dean. We're not big coffee people, really. Only if we need the caffeine kick. So, yeah, I would have just appreciated a normal kettle, but we'll see what we can do. And then a nice, simple, but effective bathroom. has got a bath if you want it after a long day out in the cold, hiking around. Big shower and a nice little vanity area. Hi team. <laughs> so yes, this will do us nicely. It is very spacious as you can see. Lots of room for activities, Dean. That sounded wrong actually, to be fair. It was actually meant to just be the uh, the stepbrothers quote. So much room for activities. But yeah, in love with that. That's gonna be so cozy. But we won't be able to make a cup of tea. I was about to say, getting into bed I'll, with a I'll nice sort brew. Of, sort of old, a nice brew and the fire going, even though it's 17 degrees. <laughs> we all know how much you love to put the heating on though, Dean. I know. <laughs> so yeah, I absolutely love this little corner with the northern lights and the fire. That's just stunning. This is the hotel, if that helps any of you find it. It's got a nice view out the front of the Three Sisters, Famous Mountain in Canmore. And I also didn't show you that we have a little outdoor access. I wouldn't say there's much out there. There's no seats or anything. Too cold to sit out there anyway. Um, I'm not going to open this because I don't want any bugs to come in. But yeah, just a little bit of outdoor access if we wanted it. Out the back. This has also really made me laugh. This is the little sign that you put on the door when you want your room service in. Hate to see you go. Please hang on the door on your way out. And then it's Canadian car wash and it's the moose lick in the car. They are known for doing this, especially in the winter, because the salt that they spread on the roads obviously gets sort of splattered up the cars and the moose lick it off because they like the taste of the salt. So that is that that's tickled me. <laughs> It is known as a Canadian car wash because that's what the moose do. They like to lick the salt off. Well, good morning everyone. It is 7.41 a.m. And I've just rolled out of bed after what was the most blissful sleep I think I've ever had. I did stay up quite late last night. I stayed up until, I want to say, 6 o'clock hour, my body time, so 11pm. Because the northern lights were out last night. Now, I was toying with going to try and spot them. They were definitely out. I could see them on the webcam from one of the Banff ski resorts, they were they were definitely out and I was like, oh, I want to go and see them. But I was just so tired. I hadn't slept in almost 24 hours and it was a half an hour drive down to like 
a good spot to be able to see them. Obviously here we're in a town, so there's lots of lights. So this isn't an ideal spot to see them. So it would have been like half an hour to where I had in mind to go. Um, and I just didn't feel like it was safe for me getting in the car <laughs> in the dark. Dean was well away, so I would have been on my own um that tired like I feel like I would have probably had an accident so I decided to try and have some sleep and sort of wake up about four three-ish hour time 4 a.m 5 a.m when it was still dark and see if they were still out and maybe head out then and I checked on the webcams and they were not so I stayed in bed <laughs> but hopefully they are the there is a bit of an aurora surge at the minute i'm not sure what their solar flare there's a solar flare at the moment so they are predicted to be like kp6 again tonight and clear skies so maybe tonight we'll have some luck with that but anyway i am going to end the travel vlog now with me looking like this an absolute mess um it was a long day obviously nice long flight long drive and everything but we're just so happy to be here if you are excited for the Canada vlogs, then please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the videos that are coming. And give us a comment if you have ever been to Canada before, what your recommendations are for us to do in Canada. And yes, have a good one, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.